Greetings. I hope you're well. Thank you for coming back to uh, to the Spirit Walker channel. Uh, you're seeing there are some two very cute uh, creatures. Another one trying to swim. Uh, and I just wanted to. Uh, for, first of all, they're they're they're, they're really very cute. Uh, and I just wanted to show you how beautiful these creatures are. Uh, they are our little brothers. We actually have uh, the stewardship on this planet. We are stewards. We need to take care of these little guys. We need to take care of, uh, of them. And instead, we have been treating them you know really in a, in a not very nice way um, and I just wanted to uh, to mention something that is it's quite um, uh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say uh, upsetting but it's it, it, it can it, it, it can be a little bit controversial which is our practice of uh, mistreating animals uh, and our practice of uh, using animals for for food, so eat, eating meat. Uh, I am not a vegetarian. First, first, I just wanted to uh, to put a disclaimer. I'm not a vegetarian, um, but I have been struggling really hard with um, this idea that I am I'm, I'm still eating. Uh, meat I have been reducing the amount of meat that I that I ate uh, quite quite substantially I'm, I'm, I'm almost a vegetarian even though I sometimes still eat meat but I'm almost a vegetarian um, but I've been trying to to reduce my intake of meat to 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 the point where I could I could say that today I am uh, let's say very close to being a vegetarian and in a way I th this is this is good because I'm not going to judge anyone so if you if you love red meat if you love your um, you know all sorts of meat products uh, that's that's absolutely fine um, but I just wanted to say uh, that, that, that we are stewards of these little creatures and we should be able to we should treat them well even if you're even if if you're still a meat eater like myself um, there are ways where we could uh, try to reduce the suffering of these animals even those animals that are kept in farms uh, for the production of meat they can still be kept there uh, and they, they can still be uh, used for the production of meat but in a way that doesn't cause too much suffering we, we, we're all going to die one day you know when I when I die when this body leaves when, when my soul leaves this physical body you know what what are people going to do with my my physical body are, are they going to eat it well I don't care anymore. I'm, I'm not going to be in this physical body anymore. So in a way, uh, it's all part of the cycle. I came from the physical body, came from the earth, and it's going to go back to the earth. I'm not really, I'm not really fast. Uh, but what I wanted to highlight as well is uh, yeah, something that is very. Uh, a, a little bit controversial and it's in relation to the reptilians the reptilians the, the lizards the big lizards they are fourth density beings they are more uh, uh, in, in terms of usage of their consciousness they are more you more uh, advanced than us and they are for us in the same way that we are for animals so we are or they are one uh, evolutionary cycle ahead of us they are fourth density negative um, 
They are negative, yes, but they are fourth density, so they are ahead of us in, you know, in, a, in, in, in that sense. So what I wanted to say is that when we all get up in arms and complaining that the reptilians are eating us, because you know that they do this, they actually abduct some people and they, they abduct some, some humans for food, uh, and they abduct some humans to be you know, sex slaves. They abduct some humans uh, to extract louche from them. So they terrify the humans in, in satanic, uh, 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 you know, uh, ceremonies, and and they use that to produce uh, astral miasma or astral louche that they then use. As, to, as, as, a, as a form of astral sustenance for themselves and for the, uh, the archonic forces that they worship. So, in, in a way, they are actually using us, the human beings, in the same way that we human beings use the so-called irrational animals. Now, this is all... Uh, well understood. This is well in, in, and um, and good, so to speak. In except for one, for one um, reason, for one particularly important reason, we, as human beings, we want to free ourselves. We want to rid ourselves of the uh, oppression and the control that the reptilians uh, uh, exert on us. So if we want to get rid of the, the reptilians, if, if the reptilians, if we were to confront the reptilians, the first thing that they would tell us would be, look, you guys eat animals, so why can't we eat you? Uh, this is this is very true. It's a it's a very good point. And even Simon Parks, in a in a video that's called uh, Repcon 2016, Simon Parks. Uh, so it's a video by uh, Connecting Consciousness. He mentions exactly this. Simon Parks is a reptilian hybrid. It's one one of the good reptilian hybrids. Uh, and he mentions this. He says, look, uh, we are all eating meat. So uh, that is the, uh, the excuse that the reptilians will use to uh, keep on eating us. And the other thing that is quite important as well is that when we eat animals, when we mistreat animals, we are creating an energetic, karmic burden on ourselves. And this, in turn, allows the reptilians to keep on uh, eating us and keep on uh, using us as food, uh, either food for material food or louche for astral food. Um, and this is a karmic cycle. So by continuing to eat meat, or at least by continuing to eat lots and lots of meat um, in, in a way that animals suffer uh, in the process of producing these, uh, these foodstuffs, by doing this, we are um, creating our own karma. And this karmic energy is used by the reptilians to come back and perpetuate their control over humanity. So, if if we all, as a as as a, as a collective, we all stop eating meat, or at least we start treating the animals and treating nature in in a in a more respectful way, we not only will we have ethic benefits because these guys are under our protection these little cute animals are under our protection um, 
We will also have health benefits because you know meat have been uh, associated with several types of cancer, bowel cancer, stomach cancer, and all of that stuff. And thirdly, we will break the stronghold, the karmic stronghold that the reptilians have on us. So the benefits are enormous for us to uh, understand our situation and start treating these little, uh, uh, little creatures that we call irrational animals with more respect and more love than what we have done so far. So thank you very much. Have, this is just a pardon the pun, but this is just food for thought. <laughs> um, so let's let's consider this. Let's dwell on these thoughts for for a little bit. So thank you for um, for watching this video. Please, if you liked it, uh, please share, subscribe, and um, leave your comments down below. Thank you very much. God bless you. See you next time.